All right. How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome in, welcome in. We're going to be playing some Chainsaw Warrior tonight. I'm sure you never would have guessed by all the things that say Chainsaw Warrior here. Uh, it's a savagely hard solo game from uh, Games Workshop. It came out in 1987-ish, something like that. Um, so, this has been on my wish list for a long time, but it just came in the mail today. Uh, might be a little bit of rules fumbling as we go, but it's an extremely straightforward game. Uh, it was supposed to come yesterday, so I would have set it up and played through it, but, you know, we're just going to figure it out as we go. Mainly, it's flip these cards over and get killed by zombies. Um, so, basically, we are <clears throat> the titular Chainsaw Warrior. We have been sent into this building in New York. Uh, we've got 60 minutes to save New York. Somewhere in the second half of this uh, deck, there is the darkness. We have to find him and kill him um, by shooting him with a laser lance. Um, in between us and him, there's a whole lot of uh, zombies and mutants and terrible monsters, which we'll get into as we go. Um, so yeah. Uh, my understanding is it is virtually impossible to win this game. Um, so, we are going to... Franzi, how are you doing tonight? Welcome in. We're going to roll up our character. Before we do that, I just want to show y'all. Uh, I've also got the supplemental rulebook here because this copy came with a little mini expansion that came in an episode of... An issue of White Dwarf back in the day called Life and Death and an American Chainsaw. So, this entire booklet is... This awesome comic book um, doesn't show up super well on stream because it's kind of blown out. But um, this is our titular chainsaw warrior, uh, ready to chainsaw some mutants in the face, uh, or much more likely get killed trying to do that. But you know what are you gonna do? So let's read through how we come up with the character because we're going to have to roll up our stats. We are going to use one house rule that I saw suggested on Board Game Geek, which is uh, to re-roll ones during the character creation. Spoilers. Uh, my understanding is it does not make the game winnable. Um, all right. So first off, we're going to roll for endurance. Roll four dice f Roll four dice and add the results together. And re-roll the one. So we got 12. Uh, we got 20 for endurance. All right. Wounds, roll two dice and add six to the result. Uh, Twelve wounds. All right. Hand-to-hand, uh, -hand, roll one die and add six to the result. Twelve for hand-to-hand. -hand. Uh, reflexes, roll one die and add five to the result. We're just rolling ones all over the place here. Uh, reflexes, roll and die, and add five. This is reflexes. Ten. Uh, marksmanship, roll one die, and look up the result on the table. We roll a five. The result is plus one. All right, so as you can see, us re-rolling the ones, um, you know, these numbers would have been way worse, and uh, the game's going to be hard enough as it is, even with these numbers being marginally better than they were. Uh, next, we're going to roll a die to see what skill we have. We rolled a five. We have the climbing skill, which says, if you ever encounter the chasm card, you can ignore its effects. The chasm is treated as though it were a clear card. If you fall into a spiked trip, spiked pit, you don't need to spend any time climbing out again. You may treat the elevator card as if it were a clear card. All right, sure. Those certainly are things that mean things. Now we're going to get some uh, equipment. We start with a laser lance because the only way you can kill the darkness is by shooting it with this laser lance. You have three shots with the laser lance. If you run out of ammo for that, you just can't win the game. <clears throat> so now we are going to... Um, where is it? We're going to roll one die and add two. So we've got eight points worth of equipment that we can buy. There's five types of equipment, devices, hand-to-hand -hand weapons, guns, clothing, and heavy weapons. 
and we get uh, they have a different cost depending on the category and we can take eight points worth of these things. So uh, we're going to draw from the bottom also because the expansion cards um, are not anything like the card stock of the uh, regular cards. So we got, uh, so that's one, um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Sure, why not? That seems fine. We took two hand-to-hand -hand weapons. We got a poison-coated metal needle. Use only once. Roll one die at the start of hand-to-hand -hand combat and have the result. It takes this many rounds for your opponent to die, during which time you must fight as normal. Okay. Uh, smash. Use only once. Adds plus three hand-to-hand -hand rating for the next five minutes. When drug wears off, roll one die and take that number of wounds. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um... I'm going to check. We might actually not be able to... Oh, we only took one. Never mind. I was going to say, I think we can only take one heavy weapon and one gun since there are marked slots for those things. <clears throat> but let me double check. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You can only ever have a max of one gun and one heavy weapon. Okay. Um. So our gun is an automatic rifle. It's got 12 shots, and our heavy weapon is man-to-man -man rockets, uh, four shots. The line art on these things doesn't show up super well with the uh, lighting, but hopefully you can see them well enough. Basically, we got a machine gun and a rocket launcher. Seems fine. Put our little ammo counters on there. Uh, looking for a 12 here. 12? 12? This is like the fiddliest possible way they could have solved this problem, but this is how they did it in 1980-whatever. Uh, there's a 12. Okay. We might replace those with dice if it gets annoying, but... Oh, also, we, we took uh, some clothing. Protects you from radiation. Reduce all radiation damage points by one. Wow, that seems really good. Okay. So... Um, Let's talk about how you lose this game. Um, if you take wounds equal to, or basically if your wounds go down to zero, you die. This is venom um, poisoning, and this is radiation poisoning. If either of those reaches your endurance, you die. If you run out of time, uh, this track represents, represents time. Each turn is going to be 30 seconds. And we've got, as it says, 60 minutes to save New York. Um, if we fail to find and kill the darkness before 60 minutes runs out, we die. The only way we win is, again, shuffled into this second deck somewhere, there is a darkness guard. If we find him and kill him, we win. So, how this game goes is sequence of play, time phase, move the time marker one box along the time track, boink. Exploration phase, turn over the first face down card of the current pile. We found a contaminated rat pack. If hit by them, you take one wound and one die worth of radiation damage. Okay? And they've got a nine there. So let's figure out how combat works. If the creature is a mutant, uh, we're going down the sequence of combat here. If the creature is a mutant, roll for radiation damage. It is not. If the creature is a zombie and you are already venom infected, roll for further venom infection. It is not. If you want to shoot the creature, go to four, otherwise go to six. We're not going to shoot this guy, so we're going to go to six. Roll two dice and add the creature's hand-to-hand -hand rating. Then roll two dice and add your own hand-to-hand -hand rating. Whichever one is higher, stuff happens. He's got a hand-to-hand -hand rating of nine. We've got a hand-to-hand -hand rating of 12. <clears throat> we rolled a nine. Added, added to our 12, that is uh, 21. They rolled a 12. Added to their 9, that is uh, also 21. Okay, uh, if the creature rolls higher, if you rolled higher on a draw, go to step 7. If you want to try a lucky shot, go to step 10. If not, 30 seconds passes and try again. Okay, so we are tied up fighting these rats. Uh, it's been 30 seconds. 
Um, so now we, I guess we're just going to try to fight him again. All right. We rolled a seven, they rolled a six, and our number's already higher than them, so we killed them. Okay. So, um, we rolled higher, go to step eight. The creature is killed, return to the sequence of play. Easy enough. You don't get anything for killing them. I just didn't take any wounds. Okay. Uh, when the encounter is resolved, the turn ends, return to the time phase. That's it. We just move the time forward. We get killed by monsters. Probably we die. Uh, there are other things in here, like equipment you can find and stuff, but basically, let's just get killed by monsters. <laughs> All right, so move that forward one. Empty. Wandering zombie appears on a roll of six on one die. Okay, so there's an entire deck of wandering zombies. So even an empty room could have a zombie in it. We rolled a one, so we're fine. Move that forward. See what we get. It's a trap. Locked door. Unless you have a lock pick, you must smash the door with a weapon or find another route by reshuffling five cards from the discard back into the current deck. Wow. Okay. Um, so we can try to smash it open with a weapon, which is going to use some of our precious ammo. Um, I'm going to look up. There's probably a rule for how to do that, so let me look that up real quick. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. Breaking down the door is done just like combat. On each weapons card, there is a rating for smashing a door. Ah, so there is. Aha. Okay. If you fail, add 30 seconds, check for a wandering zombie, and either try again or retrace your steps. Don't forget to cross off the shots you use. Okay. Um, so, you know, there's only two cards left, two cards from the, um, in the discard pile. So we'll look for another route by shuffling those back in. I don't know that that's technically legal based on there not being five cards in there, but that's what we're going to do. Doesn't seem like it's going to make us win the game or anything. <laughs> So, move forward, and clear. Wandering zombie appears on a roll of six. Hey, we rolled a six. A wandering zombie appears. Zombie, six. Okay. So, this guy's a zombie, which means he can do venom damage to us. So, let me figure out the rules for that real quick. Blah, 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 blah. Whenever you encounter clear, blah, 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 blah. Okay. <clears throat> Where is the combat part? Okay. The creature is a zombie. And you're already infected. We are not already infected. All right, so let's roll some dice just to see what happens. We're not going to shoot this guy. So we go to hand to hand. Uh, his number is six. And he rolled a 2, so that's an 8. Uh, our basic hand-to-hand -hand is 12, so, like, we just w beat this guy. Easy enough. And we move on. Chaos Agent. Oh, this guy goes in that discard pile. Okay. So this guy is accompanied by two wandering zombies. You may shoot one before fighting the others in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Wow, okay. And also, he has this E here, which means we can't run away from him. So, three level nine enemies seems bad. And this says, you may shoot one before fighting the others in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay, so we are going to try to shoot one of these guys, because, like, this is a lot all of a sudden. <laughs> <clears throat> Roll to see if you hit the creature. If the creature is killed... Uh, okay, so we're going to use this automatic rifle. It's got... You can't see it on the camera, but it's got a list of what numbers you need to roll to um, hit all these guys. Zombies, it says six. So, where is it? Uh, okay. Look at the weapon you wish to use. You'll see a list of creatures. If your opponent is not on the card, you can't shoot it. 
you can hit it, roll two dice and add or subtract your marksmanship rating. If the roll is equal to or higher than, than the number listed on the card, the creature is killed. Okay, so the number we need to hit is six. Our marksmanship is plus one. So we need to roll a five or higher on two dice to kill one of these zombies. We did it. We killed a zombie. Great. Okay, now we fight these two guys in hand-to-hand -hand combat in the order of our choice. So we'll fight this zombie first. Uh... Okay, so he got 18, and we got 8 plus, um, where's our hand-to-hand -hand number? 8 plus 12, we got 20, so we kill the zombie, great. This guy has a 9, and they rolled a 9, so that's 18. We rolled 11 plus uh, something, 12, so we kill the Chaos Agent also. Seems fine. Move this forward. It's a zombie. All right. Seven, 11, uh, 12 rather. Our hand to hand is 12, so we kill the zombie. All right. Moving on. Empty. We find nothing. A zombie. I love the art in this game is so good. I love, uh, 80s games workshop art is just awesome. Okay, so this guy's got a combat level of 7, uh, 8, 14. We killed that zombie also. Zombie. <laughs> a slightly different colored zombie than the last one. Totally different. 7 uh, plus 7 is 14. We kill that zombie also. All right. It's another zombie. I never would have guessed. 16. Uh, we rolled 17. So we kill that guy too. Where'd my drink go? All right. Uh, so... We move the time thing forward. It's a zombie. Value of eight. <clears throat> wow, okay. So they rolled a um, 18. 12, 18. We, we still killed them. Okay, great. Another zombie. I'm sensing a theme. 7, 12, 13. Killed the zombie. Killing the zombies. Rat pack. Okay. They give rabid bites. If they hit you, they cause three wounds. That's bad. Um, pretty, pretty good art on this rat pack here. Uh, 11, 13. We killed the rat pack. Trap. Mines. Test your reflexes, adding two to the roll. Okay, to test our reflexes, uh, roll equal to or less than your reflexes on two dice. Our reflexes are 10, so we rolled eight, but we have to add two, so we rolled equal to. Uh, if you fail, roll one die, add one, and take that many wounds. Roll one die for every item of equipment. On a six, the item is broken. All right, so we successfully dodged the mines. An empty room with no zombie in it. A zombie. Strength of eight. Fourteen. We killed the zombie. Strength of nine for this zombie. So many zombies. <laughs> Sword Dog, how are you doing? Yeah, this uh, this is from before they really had minis. This is from uh, like they were they did offer miniatures for this game. You can see Chainsaw Warrior mini or with a machine gun or whatever, but um, they don't serve any like gameplay purpose even if you bought them. Um, so. 
Uh, it's basically flip over these cards and get killed by stuff. Um, the game, which is fine, you know. Uh, we've got. Um, oh, also, we used one of these. Um, we used some ammo, so we've got eleven shots left on that. Um. <clears throat> so we've got a rocket launcher, a laser lance, an automatic rifle, a rad suit, some drugs we can take to become better at fighting, or a poison-coated metal needle. Um. We haven't really needed to use them yet, mainly because we rolled really well for our hand-to-hand -hand score. If that was like a 7, we'd be having way more trouble on this. Move the Time Forge 1, and we found a trap. A spiked pit. Test your reflexes and add 1 to the die roll. Okay. We rolled a 5, uh, 6. Our reflexes are 10, so we successfully jumped over the spiked pit. All right. A secret passage. Roll two dice and skip up to that many cards, choosing whether to skip each one before turning it over. Wow, nine cards. Okay. Um, we'll skip nine cards. Sure. Skipped a chaos agent, a room. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So we skipped past... Uh, an ammo dump, which is a shame. Uh, it would have got us a, a free device item. But we also skipped a couple of traps, a real nasty uh, chaos agent, and a nasty contaminated rat pack. So I think we came out on the better for it overall. Up next, a zombie with a strength of six. 12, 16, we rolled 17, so we're good. A chaos agent, very fast, go straight to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, okay? 11, he rolled 16, we rolled 12, 18, 19, 20, there we go. Trap. Wire. Unless you have wire cutters, roll one die and move the time track that many boxes. Okay. We rolled a five. One, two, three, four, five. We lost two and a half minutes. We also have to test for a wandering zombie every 30 seconds. So, one, two, three, four, five. No zombies showed up while we were cutting our way through the wire, which is nice. We found a first aid kit. Take and use when needed to heal one die's worth of wounds. One use only. When used, add 30 seconds and check for wandering zombies. Okay. A zombie with a strength of 9. 14, 17 is his attack. Uh, we rolled an 18, so... Easy enough. A zombie with a strength of seven. Eleven. Uh, we killed him. An empty room with no zombie in it. Trap. Cave in. Test your reflexes. If you fail, roll one die and lose that many minutes and take one wound also. Okay. Okay. Again, our reflexes are 10. We need to roll 10 or less on two dice. We did it. All right. We dodged the cave-in. Uh, so, we got 45 minutes left. We're a quarter of the way done. An empty room with a zombie in it. A zombie with a strength of 8. Again, I love the art on these guys. 8, 9, 15. We killed the zombie. 
Magnetic field. Roll two dice. All electrically operated items of equipment are out of action for that many minutes. Okay. We rolled a nine. We can't use our laser lance for the next nine minutes. So, 45 down to um, 36. That's when our laser lance turns back on. Hopefully we don't meet the boss of the game before then. Uh, okay. Trap. Locked door. You must smash the door with a weapon or find another route. Um, we'll shoot it with our gun. So the gun has a doors rating of uh, five. And again, we roll... Hold on. Roll two dice and add our marksmanship rating. If it's equal to or higher than the number listed, we do the thing. So we need to, our marksmanship rating is plus one. So we need to roll a four or higher. We successfully shot the door. Great job, us. A zombie with a strength of eight. 14, uh, 17. Ooh, okay. So... We have failed to kill the zombie for the first time. So what happens when we take wounds? So let's figure it out. Uh, move the marker one space on the wounds track. So we're down to 11 health. Then roll on the extra wound chart. We rolled an eight. Lose your balance. Negative one for your hand-to-hand -hand rating for the next round only. All right. So we're at 11 for the next round only because he knocked us down. Uh, if you are fighting a zombie, you are now venom infected. Okay. So our venom goes up by one, I guess. Let me double check that. Uh, where's the venom part of the rules? Roll two dice, blah, 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 blah. Move the venom marker to the first box of the endurance track. Okay. So now every time I fight a zombie, I have to roll a D6. And on a five or a six, the venom goes up by one. There's no way to cure venom. And if it hits 20, we die. Or actually, we, we get turned into a zombie is what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. When you fail, you fail. You fail worse. So we we used one house rule that I saw suggested on BGG, which was while we are rolling our stats for our character, we re, we rerolled the ones. I'm pretty sure we would already be dead if we had not done that because spoilers, we rolled a lot of ones, uh, and that de your stats here determine uh, everything. So you know. So now we have to fight this zombie again. We advance the clock 30 seconds. And this time, I think we got him. Uh, 17 uh, versus 11, 16, yeah, 20. Okay, we killed him. Our one-turn penalty for hand-to-hand -hand goes away. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if we have to check for wandering zombies showing up while we're already fighting a zombie. I don't think we do. So we're just going to keep rolling. It's another zombie. I never would have guessed. Okay, so... Uh, you're fighting a seven, return to six. Okay, so first off, we have to roll to see if we get further zo uh, zombified. We rolled a six. We have advanced our zombification. And uh, we can choose to shoot these guys before we start fighting. Also, I've got 10 shots left for my automatic rifle one uh, and four shots worth of rocket launchers. I've also got a... Uh, thing that blocks me from radiation damage, but we haven't run into any mutants yet. I've got a poison-coated metal needle, which will automatically kill something in X number of turns. Um, and I've got Smash, which I can take. It's a drug I can take to make my hand-to-hand -hand uh, better for some number of turns, but then take wounds afterwards. 
All right, so zombie shows up. He's got a strength of nine. Uh, 16. We killed the zombie. Trap. Locked door. All right, we're going to shoot the door again. Because I don't want to backtrack. It'll probably be fine. Well, we definitely won't need these bullets later. Nine bullets left. So we need to roll a four or higher on two dice. We did it. We shot the door. <laughs> it's a trap. It's wire. We don't have the wire cutters. Roll one die and move the time track that many boxes. One box. Boink. We have to see if we get a zombie that shows up while we were cutting the wires. We failed to roll a six, so a zombie does not show up. <laughs> All right. Mutant thing. Okay. Well, wow. take one die of radiation damage before you fight. We rolled a one. Our rad suit blocks one ra radiation damage every time we take radiation damage. So that's good. This guy's combat is 16, so he's significantly, significantly stronger than the uh, zombies we've, we've been fighting. Um, wow, okay. Uh, so maybe, I don't know how many of these guys there are in the deck, but I feel like maybe we shoot at this guy. Yeah, we're going to shoot the machine gun at this guy. Uh, so before we can try to shoot this guy, we have to test our reflexes to see if we can try to shoot him before we get into hand-to-hand -hand combat. So we need to roll a 10 or less on two dice. We did the thing. So now we're going to use one bullet of this, going down to eight shots left. Again, this is fine. It's not like we'll ever need these shots for anything else. <laughs> Um, yeah, look at the art on that guy. I love the art in this game is so good. I don't know if it's going to focus or not, but just like a grizzly face with like eight mouths on it. So now, um, we're shooting a gun at this guy and we need to roll an eight or higher. So, uh, our marksmanship is plus one. So we need to roll a seven or higher on two dice. We have failed to shoot the mutant thing. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, 16, he got 21, and we got 17 plus, or sorry, 12 plus 7, 19. All right, so we take a wound, Boink. and we see what else happens. We rolled a 12, arm damaged, reduce your marksmanship by one permanently. Cool, that's fine, <laughs> no, no problem. That certainly won't uh, be bad in the future. <clears throat> All right, so now 30 seconds passes, so we fight him again. Oh, yeah, we got him this time. Because um, he got, what, 19, 24? We got 12 plus 12, 24. Wow, okay. Wow, we didn't kill him even though we rolled 12. Um, that's bad. So it was a draw. Um Go to seven. If you want to try a lucky shot, go to ten. Roll on the lucky shot chart. <laughs> All right. We're going to try to take a lucky shot at this guy with uh, with our automatic rifle. So we roll one. Uh, hold on. Let me see what the rules for lucky shot are. Roll a die, look up the result on the lucky shot chart. All right, so we rolled a two. It says, you don't manage to shoot. Your weapon is smashed. Discard the weapon. Cool, no problem. Uh, he smashed our automatic rifle. That's fine. I'm sure we didn't need that. <laughs> oh, the mutant thing is putting in some work on us. All right, so 30 seconds pass. He rolled a number that I can't possibly beat. We rolled a 21. He rolled a 20, uh, 22, 27. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we take a wound. I could try to, um, 
I don't know. I can't even try to take a lucky shot. Wow, okay. Down to 40. 25. Versus uh, 21. Take another wound. Okay. We got to get him this time. He rolled a 2. Please. Please, Chainsaw Warrior. <laughs> okay. 21 to 18. We killed the mutant thing. And, uh... It was totally fine. Everything went totally fine. Nothing bad happened there at all. <laughs> oh, me. All right. Um, great. Trap. A locked door. We don't have our um, gun anymore. So we can't easily shoot this door open anymore. Because I don't necessarily want to use one of our very good rocket shots on it because we still got a lot of cards to go through. Um, so we're going to reshuffle this uh, room deck and put five cards from the discard pile back into the uh, room deck because we we lost our lock pick, a.k.a. our assault rifle. It's totally fine. You know, I'm sure we won't meet that mutant thing again or anything. It'll be totally fine. He he bit our freaking arm off the first time. So, you know. <clears throat> One, two. Whoop, that's a wandering zombie. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And these get shuffled back in. And let's see what we got. Move the time forward. And some wire. Okay. We got caught in wire again. It's going to cost us four turns. One, two, three, four. And we need to roll this four times. If we roll a six, zombies show up. One, two, three, four. No zombies. Great. That EMP blast goes away, so our laser lance turns back on. Uh, and a cave-in. Test your reflexes. Um, we rolled an eight. We successfully dodged the cave-in. Empty room. Whoop. No zombie. Empty room. No zombie again. Ah, a zombie. Okay, so you can normally... I actually should have thought of this before. You can escape from combat. Maybe I should have tried to run away from that mutant before he bit our arm off. Um, this E means you cannot escape from this guy. He's got a cool helmet on. He's mad about it. Can't run away from him. Um, I'm not going to try to shoot him. We're just going to roll. So, uh, 17, 18, 19... And we rolled a 17. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, also, first off, uh, we need to see if he spreads his venom to us. He does not. Okay. So we take one wound. We roll this. We roll six. No extra effects. Cool. He just bit us, and it was fine. <clears throat> Seven. We rolled a 19. He rolled 13. He rolled a 19. Oh, time advances also. Um, if you want to try a lucky shot, go to 10. If not, add 30 seconds to the timer and return to step six. Okay. We're just going to keep fighting him. All right. We rolled the same number, but our hand to hand is one higher than him. So we kill him. Great. Get out of here, zombie. Trap. A net. Unless you have... A wire cutter, acid, knife, chainsaw, or laser lance. Roll one die and lose that many minutes. Check for a wandering zombie every minute. Wow. Okay. I do have a laser lance. But I don't know that I want to use one of my shots of my laser lance. 
to avoid this net. So maybe we're just going to lose a couple of turns. It's fine. It's fine. One, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, we have to roll this four times. No zombie. No zombie. No zombie. No zombie. Get out of here, zombies. All right. Empty. Uh, this time we did roll a six, so a zombie shows up. He's got a strength of six. I think we can take him. 12, 13, 14, 15. He rolled a 13. We killed him. But also, if you see here, it says nighttime, minus one hand to hand. So it got dark, so we lose one hand to hand because it's harder to fight stuff in the dark. Because, you know, the game wasn't hard enough. <laughs> a zombie with a strength of six. We definitely killed the zombie with a strength of six. Uh, 12, 16, 11. Yeah, okay. I forgot that our hand-to-hand -hand went down. I just wanted to double check. Okay. Uh, a zombie shows up in this empty room. This zombie's got a strength of 11, so it's just a straight roll-off on this guy. Um, but I think we're just gonna... It, it'll be fine. <laughs> Spoilers. It wasn't fine. Um, so he beat us. We take a wound. And also, no additional effect. We do have to roll to see if we become envenomated again, though, when we start fighting this guy. We roll to five. This goes up by one. We advance one step. We fight him again. He, he beat us again. Oof. Okay. Six. No extra effects. Oh, did I not check it for the other zombie? I'll do it a couple of times. I might have forgotten before. One. One more step. All right, so... No problem. We're just going to keep fighting this zombie because apparently running away is not a thing that we're going to do. Hey, this time we beat him. Get out of here, zombie. <laughs> it's another zombie. Cool, 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 cool. No venom. He's got a strength of seven. 11, 17, 7, 18. We beat him. Empty. See if there's a zombie. We did not roll a six. No zombie. A wire trap. We roll four boxes on the... Or we lose four turns. One, two, three, four. We have to roll this four times to see if zombies show up. No. 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 A zombie. I remember those guys. No poison on this guy. Venom, it's called. <laughs> yeah, Chainsaw Warrior, not Chainsaw Runner. Exactly. He didn't come here to not kill zombies, you know? Um, okay, so... We definitely killed that zombie. Magnetic field. Roll two dice. Nine. Electrical equipment is out of commission until the 15 minute mark, which is not great because you can only kill the darkness with this laser lance and now it doesn't work until there. So if we, and we're about to be in the second deck the darkness is in that second deck somewhere. So if we run into him when our laser lance doesn't work, basically, we just have to survive until it turns back on. Uh, okay. A locked door. <clears throat> um, I think we're going to shoot a rocket at this particular lost, locked door because we're kind of running out of time here. Uh, we need to roll a four or, uh, or less here. We did it. And we are successfully through the first half of the cards. 
Again, the guy we're trying to find and kill is in that second half. We've got five life left. Our machine gun got eaten by a zombie, or a, by a mutant. He also bit our arm off. Um, and we've got 23 and a half minutes left. Yeah, that's it, Sewer Dog. you got to find him and kill him before time runs out. You've got, as it says, 60 minutes to save New York. So, if y'all give me just a second, I'm going to refill my water and I'll be right back.
All right, we are back. Back to getting totally ruined <laughs> in Chainsaw Warrior, which I believe is generally how this game goes. We just finished the first deck, so let's uh, keep on keeping on. See what we got in deck number two. 23 and a half minutes, seems like totally enough time. A trap. It's a wire trap. We lose five turns. One, three, four, five. That's fine. We didn't need that time anyway. After all this five times to see if zombies show up. One more. No zombies. Totally fine. Didn't need that two and a half minutes at all. Speaking of zombies, there's a zombie. No venom damage. Do we want to shoot this zombie? I think we're just going to fight him. 9, he rolled a 15. We've got 11. We rolled a 16. Get out of here, zombie. A chaos agent. He is a throwing knife expert. Before you do anything, roll a die. On a 5 or a 6, he hits you with a throwing knife. We rolled a 3, so we dodge the knife. Go straight into hand-to-hand -hand combat. All right. His hand-to-hand -hand combat rating is 8. <clears throat> we rolled a 16. He rolled a um, 19. So he hits us for one wound. We rolled a 7. No extra effects. Can't try to escape next round. Okay. Eight, nineteen, uh, thirteen. We kill the chaos agent. A mutant thing. Take one die of radiation damage before you fight. We rolled a one. We're getting really lucky with our radiation rolls, at least. And his value is fourteen. The other mutant thing absolutely wrecked us. So I think we're going to shoot a rocket at this guy. We'll only have two rockets left, but that's fine. Um, first off, we have to test our reflexes to see if we can shoot him. We rolled a six. Our reflexes are ten, so we're good. The rocket says all opponents are a four. So we have to roll a four or higher. We rolled a seven. We killed the mutant thing. Seems all right. Empty. See if there's a zombie. No zombie. Yeah, totally worth it. That guy. I mean, we've only got four life left. Like, ooh, speaking of which, I forgot that we found this med kit, first aid kit. So let's, uh, all right. So it says, take and use when needed to heal one die worth of wounds. When used only, when used, add 30 seconds and check for a wandering zombie. If one of, if one arrives, fight it and then try again. All right, so it takes 30 seconds. A zombie does not show up. We regain four hit points. I mean, smoke them if you got them, right? <clears throat> 17 minutes left. No problem. Empty room. No zombie. A zombie. Strength of 10. He's got a cool helmet. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I think we're not going to use more rockets. We're just going to fight this guy. <clears throat> he rolled a 16. We rolled a 15, which is not enough. Nine. Dazed. Minus two hand-to-hand -hand next round only. No lucky shot this round or escape next round. All right. So our hand-to-hand -hand is at nine for next round only. Nine, 10, 11, 17. He rolled a 15, so we got him. All right. Empty room. Oh, also, we need to roll... Uh, this is to see if a zombie shows up. One does not. This is to see if that last zombie poisoned us. 
He did. <clears throat> we rolled really high for our endurance, so I'm not... Well, I say that. I'm not that worried yet <laughs> about uh, getting poisoned, but we'll see if it, if it comes back to bite us. All right. 15 minutes to go here. Our, our laser lance turned back on, so that's nice. A trap. Weak floorboards. Test your reflexes. So we need a 10 or less. We passed it. If we had failed, we would have fallen through and lost a bunch of time. Uh, okay. A zombie shows up. He does not poison us. His strength is 8. Uh, 15 is what he got. Uh, we rolled a 12, so we definitely killed that zombie. <clears throat> 14 minutes to go here. A chaos agent. Surprise attack. Go straight to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. So we couldn't shoot this guy even if we wanted to. Uh, so he rolled a 17. We rolled um, 11, 17, 21. We killed the chaos agent. You love to see it. A zombie. Stupid zombies. No venom damage. We can't escape. He's got a strength of 10. All right. 16 is what he got. Uh, 16 is also what we got. So we lose a... We lose 30 seconds. We roll again. <laughs> this time... He rolled a 16. We rolled a 17. We killed the zombie. Get out of here, zombie. Another zombie. Stupid zombies. No venom damage. We definitely killed him. Also, our hit points are on four. No, wait. They're on seven. I forgot we healed a bunch. Haha. -ha. Secret passage. Roll two dice. And skip up to that many cards, choosing whether to skip each one before turning them over. So we can skip 11 cards, but here's the trick, right? Let me check the ruling on this. There's a ruling for if you miss the darkness card, like if you discard it by accident. So like, I could discard 11 cards, but if the darkness is one of those cards... Something bad happens, so. <laughs> if we skip over the darkness card, we reshuffle the entire second deck and start again. So, um, I'm going to skip a couple. I'm going to skip a couple. So this is one. This is two. Well, we skipped a mutant thing. This is three. <laughs> the question is, how far do we push it, right? This is four. Another mutant thing. This is five. This is six. Slime. Okay. This says, use, use acid, flare gun, flamethrower, or laser cannon, or get smothered to death. <laughs> you have one shot. Wow, okay. Um, so we skipped that guy. That was what? Six, seven, eight. The meat machine with a strength of 15. Wow. If it hits you, you take three wounds and reduce your reflexes or hand-to-hand -hand permanently by one. Wow, okay. Um, how many was that that we had skipped now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could skip three more. One... Two. Do we skip the last one? One more. How far do we push it? Let's push it. God, no! <laughs> hey, guess what? We found the darkness, y'all. Great news. Great news. We're just going to reshuffle this deck and start again. It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. We didn't need... We didn't need to... We didn't need to fight the darkness there. It's totally fine. Well, you know, it's not hubris biting me in the in the behind at all. 
It's totally fine. This is all planned for dramatic tension. <laughs> oh, no. Chainsaw warrior, no. Ah, shouldn't have flipped that last one. He snuck past us. All right, well, everything's fine. Everything's totally fine. We just have to do it again, no problem. Rat Pack, strength of six. We killed it. Empty room. No zombie. An ambush trap. Roll one die. You are attacked by that many wandering zombies. You can attempt to shoot one, but must then attack the others in hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay. One wandering zombie. With a strength of 11. He poisons us. Cool. I could try to shoot him, but... Uh, 19... 21, we killed him. I feel like seeing that meat machine and all that nasty stuff in there, like, maybe we try to save these rockets. <laughs> Although the odds that we're going to find the darkness again in time seem low. It seems low. But, I mean, you know, stuff could happen. Chaos Agent. Suicide Agent. Unless you shoot him with a negative one to your marksmanship, take one to six wounds... And roll one die for each equipment. On a five or a six, it's, it is permanently broken. Okay. So we need to try to shoot this guy right now. Or else he's going to really wreck us with a suicide bomb. So we've got one rocket left. <clears throat> and we need to roll a five or higher. Okay, we did it. A zombie. He does not poison us. We rolled a 20. He rolled a 21. That's totally fine. Six. No extra effects. Fight him again. 17 to uh, 19. We killed him. Oh, we had it in the palm of our hand, and we let it slip away. No zombie. Chaos Agent, with a strength of 11. He's a martial arts assassin. Reduce your marksmanship by 3 if shooting at him, and your hand-to-hand -hand by 3 if you try to hit him. Ugh. And we can't escape from this guy, so this guy might just take us out. Because that's, uh, he puts our hand to hand at eight if we fight him. And his, he's got 11, so we just need to roll way better than him. Um, he reduces our marksmanship by a lot, too. And we've only got one rocket left, so we're just going to try to fight him. Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 17. He rolled a 21. Totally fine. Eight. Lose your balance. Negative one hand-to-hand -hand for the next round only. All right, so we're down to seven hand-to-hand. -hand. That's totally fine. Uh, 11, 17. And he rolled also a 17. So we're back up to eight. Uh, he hit us. Five, no extra effects. I think we got him this time. 8, 12, 17, 11, 15, 16. Yep, we got him. <laughs> oh, me. Trap. Chasm. Unless you have the climbing skill, you must retrace your steps. Discard this card from the game and see escaping the building in the rules. Aha, but we do have the climbing skill. So, we ignore the chasm is good because we would have had to go all the way back out and come all the way back in if we couldn't climb over that chasm chaos agent very fast go straight to hand to hand combat will not wound every time he hits you lose an item of equipment your choice okay cool 
<clears throat> he rolled a 16. We rolled significantly higher than that. So we killed him. We've got three and a half minutes left. You think we can do it? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's bad if you have to if you have to retrace your steps. A lunatic. He grabs one of your items, which must be chosen at random and removed from the game. Wow. Okay. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna roll a die, and it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three. He stole our rocket launcher. That's fine. We didn't need that. We didn't need that at all. <laughs> so we've got our laser uh, lance left, which is good because that's what you need to kill the boss. We've also got some drugs and a poisoned knife. Uh, okay. Rat pack. Can't escape. Uh, 10, 14, we rolled 15, 17, we killed the Rat Pack. Two and a half minutes left. A zombie. No, uh, poison damage. 18, uh, 11, 16, yep, we killed him. Two minutes to go. No zombie. One and a half minutes to go. Weak floorboards, test your reflexes. Six. Yep, yeah, okay. We dodged over them. One minute to go. A zombie shows up. <clears throat> we kill the zombie, right? Eight, 19. 11. Oh, no, we don't kill the zombie. This time we kill the zombie. But he delayed us just long enough that darkness triumphs. Let's see how long down, far down into the deck it was till we found him. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29. He was 29 more cards down. <laughs> um, so, I don't think we would have found him again, so... Woof. <laughs> All right. Well, that's Chainsaw Warrior. We uh, failed to do the thing. We might have done the thing if we hadn't uh, let let hubris get to our head and snuck past the darkness. And then he, uh, he ran away from us. So to fight the darkness, um, you have to use your laser lance and you have to get an 11 plus on two dice. If you successfully hit him, you win. If you don't successfully hit him, he does two wounds to you. And you've got three shots at it. If you kill him, you win the game. <laughs> we would have done it, Sewer Dog. We would have done it. <laughs> oh, man. This game, so this is the first time I've played this. Uh, it came in the mail yesterday. I would have I would have played it yesterday just to get the rules down and stuff, but this is uh, exactly what I was hoping it was going to be. Just a very, very silly exercise in uh, flipping cards and getting murdered by uh, zombies, basically. Uh, I love it. It's got a great style. Sewer Dog, did you see there's this whole uh, awesome comic book that it came with? I don't, I might've shown that before, uh, I might've shown that before you tuned in. I'm ready. It doesn't show up super well on a stream just cause of the lighting and stuff. But, uh, there's also an ad on the back for a sick chainsaw warrior t-shirt, which I would definitely wear that. Um, so yeah, there's a, 
there's also these whole decks of equipment cards, which you you choose randomly at the beginning. So what you have here is going to be different every game and stuff. So yeah, uh, that is Chainsaw Warrior, and I am going to get set up here and play also through uh, Dungeon Quest, just in case this wasn't punishingly random enough. <laughs> uh, we figured we'd get some Dungeon Quest in it, too. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. Um, good game. We almost had him. We Well, we almost got killed by the darkness, like, realistically. But, um... <laughs> I'm, a. Uh, Gonna get this put up and get Dungeon Quest set up, and I will be right back in just a minute, y'all. <laughs> 